Now let's look at another diagram to know more about the multiplexer. Suppose we have four different subscribers in our company, telecom company. They want to make a simultaneous call, but we can serve them in one single medium so we we'll minimize our own resources. So based on that, we create another technology called selection line inside our multiplexer. This selection line, we give them indication by S1 and S0. So in our selection line, what this does is that once this users send the information, then the selection line will determine which user will get into the first and which user will be followed and which user will be followed next to that. And it will be in the millisecond. So all the customers will have their communication being accurately without missing a single information. So example, when we say that the S1 and S2 were selection line number two and selection line number one, it both are zero zero. That's mean the zero and zero we will get the D0, meaning the input number one or the subscriber number one will get this first information out there. Well, in the selection line, same time, when we put the x1 is equal to 0 and then x0 is equal to 1, we will get at the same time d1, which means the subscriber number 2 has get his input transferred accurately via one medium. All of this goes on, on, and on, and on, and it will repeat simultaneously so they can get an accurate information. And this is a logic symbol of the socket behind what we have discussed about earlier so this is the numbers of the subscribers and this is the logic that happens behind that and we get the input in one single video and then it is accurately as we predicted now let's look at the methodology behind the multiplexing the multiplexing gives us a, 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 a little effort to do and get the maximum output example if we have a billions of the subscribers, we will just name all these subscribers as a raw input only. And then based on that, raw input will transfer all those and then we control by selection line. And that's all what happened behind the multiplexing and the multiplexing. Now let's look at the concept behind the demultiplexing. Well, we said the demultiplexing is the same technology of multiplexing, but it does the reverse thing or operation of multiplexing. Whatever multiplexing does, the reverse operation of it, it is called demultiplexing. So if we have the message that is converged, we disverge it by the demultiplexing. Yes. This is actually socket also behind what we know as uh, demultiplexing. Suppose we get one information coming from one source. That's it. That's the input line. We get the information coming from multiplexing. So in placing this information, it will go here and then start the distribution. The selection line, this three selection line, will decide which information will be sent to the subscribers. And these are the subscribers that are waiting for a message to receive. So based on three selection line will determine which of the input will receive the first message and will receive the second message based on what the multiplexer has done. This is the same input that we can get here and then here. This is actually the first diagram that we figured out and this is the diagram socket we will get it off. Now let's summarize. Suppose we have to connect each and every user directly to a user. This will consume much more resources and much more time. Suppose let's say you are living in the West and you want to connect it to a Wi-Fi. So if this will make possible to only use direct methodology, that means all of the users will have a single medium, different medium towards the Wi-Fi. And that will consume more energy, consume more resources. But based on that, what we have actually do is we use what is known as a multiplexer and multiplexer. That is multiplexing. So first thing we do is that the people that are connected to Wi-Fi, they are actually sending their information, they are being connected directly to multiplexing. So all of their message will be connected to one single channel. And this channel will take it to demultiplexing, which is known as a cloud network. So based on that, demultiplexer will demultiplex it 
to the various sources that those users are, are requesting or sending or downloading. So based on that, we communicate with the internet but using multiplexing and demultiplexing. Multiplexing has saved a lot of walls, the huge income about communication devices and about sending different types of information and at the same time using industrial applications, many more about it. Thank you to Multiplexer and here are my, my name is Brian Lewis as I said it earlier in Marwan University, Rajkot, Gujarat, India for seeing the uh, information technology department. This is the second semester and thank you next to see you again.